Hey, it's Jeremy from OpticHouse.com. So, in the last video that I did, I used the term thumbnail and layout interchangeably. I should correct that, because for me, thumbnails and layouts are two very specific processes for very specific purposes. What I'm drawing now are thumbnails for issue four of Morningstar. And for my process, thumbnails are what you know most artists you know term as thumbnails. Small sketches used to work out your storytelling and your composition. For me, I do these, I've been doing them with a brush lately to try and help improve my my skill with the brush. The more I use it, the more I have it in my hand, the more comfortable I get the better my inking will be when I do actual pages. Now, the reason why I want to clarify you know, the difference between this is that I'm figuring out a lot of stuff on the page. Um, there's a small piece of paper off to the side of the camera that you can't see, which is full of written text, and it's my outline for this particular issue. And usually I will just break it down with you know, all of the general actions and story beats that happen, but I don't it's not a full, typical comic book spread where you've got, you know, panel one, you know, page two, panel one, page two, panel three, the dialogue, the action broken down that way. It's a lot closer to a, a Marvel style. Um, I do include script, uh, I do include dialogue as it occurs to me, but I leave it kind of loose because a lot of times I will change dialogue or dialogue will occur to me in the phase I'm doing right now, the thumbnailing. It will also occur to me in uh, the next phase, which is my layout phase. You're not going to see that in this video, but I do have previous videos that show me working on layouts, and I will include videos of me making layouts for the future issues, and for this issue. Now, in my layout phase, I take these thumbnails that I have. I use those to create my lettering. I do my lettering before I draw my pages. The reason for that is to try and avoid problems like having a character speaking first, when he's on the right side of the panel, so the left side of the panel, since in the West we read from left to right. And these are basic storytelling problems that usually a lot of experienced comic creators don't even have to think about anymore. They just do it automatically. I like to force myself to deal with the story and how the dialogue is interacting with the artwork as I'm drawing it. So that I, if I block out a scene, but then I'm like, oh, I have too much dialogue here, I can recompose it because I'm still doing my actual composition there. Um, it's like in the 40s or 50s, you know, 50s and 60s, like when comic book artists were working, you know, at a high production level in terms of speed, they might get their comic pages, their boards pre-lettered and just draw around the balloon. So they're not drawing stuff that's going to get covered up. And that process, I take those letter templates, I print them out on vellum, and then I will draw my, my uh, pages directly on there. I will flip them over because vellum is like tracing paper and I can see through it. And that way I can make my corrections there without using a light box. And that's pretty much it for now. Hope you enjoyed. Check out my website, OpticHouse.com, for cool comics, art prints. Sign up for my mailing list. Go be creative.